Who says a battery cannot be repaired? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for the likes, for the support, for the shares. All right, this phone came in for repair. An old woman brought this phone for repair and she told me the story behind this phone, which is very shocking. All right, and the story goes thus the husband and the wife were having an argument and the husband picks up the phone and smashes the phone of the wife to the ground or to the wall whatever and it became so escalating all right and when the old woman was narrating the story to me she said her daughter is so arrogant that that's why the husband smashed her phone all right so i was like wow this phone really 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 is bad as you can see guys even the charging port right here i have replaced it so this is the the one i removed from it but as i am repairing even as you can see the power button is also off so guys i would like us to see how i'm going to uh show you a trick i used on the battery because look at if I look look at this they smashed the phone and everything has gone so bad even the the battery connector even the bad one of the pins of the battery connector is broken all right so the woman said the that her daughter is so arrogant that she has to tell her and confront her and tell her that when you're in your husband's house you have to get away with all this pride and all that if you look at the battery it's broken so guys i want you to leave your thoughts in the comment section number one is it right as a as a man to smash your your woman's phone when you are angry is it right number two the question i'm going to ask is is it right for this old woman to take it upon herself to fix this phone all right guys there is something i noticed with the battery and i would like us to take notes all right i'm reading this on on 20 volts voltage reading of the i'm taking the voltage reading of this of this battery all right taking the voltage reading of this battery as you, as you can see the battery reads 0, 0.0 remember the story of the phone it was smashed it's either to the wall or to the ground and reversing the probes still gives the same reading 0.00 so guys i'm going to teach you how to repair this battery i believe this battery can still work all right guys but i'm going to take you take you through step by step on how i was able to repair this battery okay all right first thing first is to pop out that plastic top on that battery so we need to take the actual reading of the main battery that's the first thing we need to do all right so let's pop this out so ladies and gentlemen don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel make sure you share this video as well thank you so much all right guys you can see these two terminals coming from the back the battery uh, circuit right there i mean the battery cell i mean to say sorry so let's take a reading of that two terminals all right you can give you can see it's giving 3.9 volts all right let me reverse the probes all right properly so you can see the proper reading that's 3.9 volts coming out from the battery cell but when you take a reading from the top side which is from the flex you can see is given 0, 0.0 that means there is an open circuit somewhere all right let's explore where the open circuit is this and gentlemen let's pop this out a little bit further and examine inside what is going on all right examining all the components on that little uh, pcb there you can call it flex as well so all those all these um components that i see the capacitors the resistors and towards this side you can see there's a sign of a missing component right on that 
right side okay let me bring it a bit closer somewhere at the edge you can see right there there's a missing component right here guys it's a missing component and i can see the components right inside this battery so there's a disconnection there's a disconnection from that point that causes the open circuit all right you can see the fuse right there the fuse resistor and you remember in my previous video if you watched the previous video i made a trick on this uh i made a trick on this resistor i mean the fuse resistor and we were able to get a, a real output i mean a, a good result from it so this is the fuse resistor right on my palm so this fuse resistor i believe this is the cause of the problem guys so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to solder the fuse resistor back to its place and let's see how it works out ladies and gentlemen don't forget to please hit the like button subscribe and turn on the notification bell icon for future updates thank you so much now let's take a new reading after that has been soldered you can see 3.9 is reading perfectly well guys so with these few points of mine of with these practical steps i've shown you or with these practical tips i've shown you you can see or you can agree with me that you can repair a battery thank you guys make sure you leave your comments in the comment section below and let us know how uh, this video has helped you all right that is the little trick we did we soldered this fuse resistor back to its place and the battery is working back i mean the battery is working perfectly well thank you so much for watching i'm going to see you in my next video thank you so much make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this to this channel thank you and peace